it is okay not to blend in with the crowd. Standing out it shouldn't be a taboo, all right? Don't feel less than because you are not part of the crowd. Don't feel less than because you don't blend in. Don't feel less than because you're different. Whoever you are, wherever you are, I would like to tell you that it is okay to be unique and stand out. Always following the crowd is not always right, all right? You are made uh, differently from others. You don't have to be the same creatures as them. That's why in this world, there is different creatures, all right? Even in the animal kingdom, there are different creatures that is that that makes up those kingdoms there's a lot of different uh, uh genre of fishes in in the sea so if one of them is bigger than the rest so be it that's how uh, you know the shark was made on the dolphin so you need to be able to accept what makes you different what makes you stand out you must you must all right you you must accept that there's nothing wrong with it because usually oftentimes people do make you feel as if there's something wrong with that the fact that you don't identify with the crowd the fact that you are too quiet or you talk too much or you do you read too much or you dance a lot or you're too happy why are you too happy there's something wrong with you you shouldn't be this happy all the time you shouldn't work out all the time. Oh my God. What is going on? Why do you eat too much? I would say don't eat too much all the time, okay? That is not a way to stand up. <laughs> Even though I'm here. <laughs> oh God. I don't want my makeup to go away. I know. I have to be serious. We're talking about this topic. But when they came to the aspect of eating a lot, I'm like, if you are unique, <laughs> if you are unique in eating too much, then you are dying. My have a problem. That's gonna be the only time I would say you shouldn't stand out. All right? <laughs> There's something wrong with that. Something wrong with eating too much. That doesn't make you unique. All right? So that being said, you as an individual. You need to, to be able to accept yourself if you want others to accept you. Accept your flaws and work on it. If it is a flaws that is negatively affecting you, let's say you want to lose weight, you're on the way on a lost journey and you can't because certain things are holding you back, your habits of eating or your habits of drinking, any other habits that is uh, 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 hindering your progress, you know, you need to work on that. You know, I mean, it's okay sometimes to be in those, uh, to be down. It's okay to be down. It's okay to stand out. It's okay to be whoever you are. Every moment have their own, they have to play out. They will go away. No moment is permanent. So standing out in a good way, it doesn't even have to be the good way in the eyes of people. If you stand out in your own eyes and you know that you're different, so be it. That makes you unique. You have long hair, you're unique. You have dreadlocks, you're unique. It's okay to stand out. Your hair is different, it's fine. You have small eyes, so be it. Wherever you are, whoever you are, I would like to say, if your ethnicity or your background or the way you speak makes you stand out, so be it, including me. <laughs> including this woman here, okay? You, I mean, it's just, uh, I'm just here to, to give positive vibes. And let you know it's okay sometimes to stand out not all the time it's not okay not to walk out okay we need to walk out don't stand out by not working out it's not too okay with that because in the long run you know you want to be healthy you want to live longer you know you just have to live life uh, optimally wherever you find yourself all right remember you're unique in your own way and you need to accept that